So, driving home right now. Just gonna talk to you guys a little bit. Your time is valuable. And you gotta pay the bills. Eventually you get to a point in your life where you just can't be doing stuff for free. And the older you get, the more honest you get, the more sincere you get, the more you become very open about things. Nothing's really hidden anymore, right? You know, you're not scared, you're not walking on eggshells, you're not tiptoeing around. Let me merge real quick. I haven't done that in a while. <laughs> 110 in no time. This 373 gear really woke up the rear end in this uh, this town car. Really nice. It just goes. Anyhow, um, back to the speed limit. Set my cruise. Focus on the road. Janitor came in tonight and he says, "Hey, I really want you to look at my car." And I said, "Yeah, Are you gonna pay me?" He said, it's, it's going to be real quick. And I said, every time it's real quick. I mean, let's be real here. Real quick never is really real quick. And he says, well, my trunk won't close. I said, okay, so why won't it close? He said, I think that rubber thing that goes around the outside came off. I says, okay, well, did you try to put it back on? Well, yeah, but you know I'm not good with mechanical stuff. I said, he's pushing a rubber seal back on. What are you talking about? Well, I just want you to look at it real quick. Can you? Maybe you can fix it real quick. So he pulls it in. So let's go, man. Let's, let's. I'm tired of this freebie stuff. I'm tired of helping people out. I'm tired of doing... You know, if, if, it's one thing if it's for somebody that's really in need, but you're a manager of a company where you service, like, six different dealerships plus. You own the contracts to the janitorial work plus other buildings as well. You can afford to pay somebody to fix your stuff. But... Nothing against Polish people, but the last few Polish people that I've dealt with are pretty cheap. This guy, he's one of them. Very cheap. Everyone, everything for free, but does nothing in return. So I pull the car in, and I have to cut the seal because it's so wore out and it's so cold outside. The seal has shrunk in the position of it being off, and there's nothing else I can do. I said, look, man, the seal's rotten, and the metal you know, forming ridge that goes through it was rusted out in multiple spots. I, there's nothing I can do about it right this second. I, I'm going to have to um, cut it, reset it, and you're just going to have to deal with it. And I'll put the, the cut at the lowest position so no water can get in there. You see, that's fine, that's fine. So, as I'm maneuvering around and putting the seal and everything back on, talking to me and, I, and I, I says you know what do you think my time is worth all the schooling and stuff that I have all the professionalism the different venues that I put myself through when it comes to education and all the stuff that you see me do when it comes to diesel trucks and semis and fabricating stuff project cars uh, certified dealer technician you don't my time's worth something there are people that pay me tons of money to work on their vehicles. What do you think my time's worth? Well, you're the best, Rich. I, I just had to ask you. Oh, I'm the best. Are you willing to pay for the best? Because if I'm the best, you should be paying. That's how this works, right? Well, yeah, but, you know, the dealer pay $155 an hour. Well, then you should be paying me $75 an hour at least. Let's face it. The average Joe Schmo walking down the street cannot do what I do. Cannot do what you guys do out there. The average Joe Schmo, they don't know about that stuff. They don't know what I do from a professional standpoint. The diagnostics I go through, the computer programming and stuff that I go through. Um, the headache that we have to deal with. But dealer techs know. Mom and pop shop guys that are really good know. Some of you guys out there that are entrepreneurs and do stuff on your own that really dig into things you guys know. The average Joe doesn't want to pay for the professional service that we have to give them. That's a fact. But there are good people out there that will do that. 
I had a lady contact me about three weeks ago and she says, I have a Jeep and the dealer has a special going on, $189.99 to do rear rotors and cut brakes. And I, or uh, cut rotors and, and do rear brakes. And I said, okay. And you're probably just gonna get some basic pad or whatever. She said, well, they say they're ceramic pads. I said, yeah, right, ceramic pads, the end all be all. Uh, definitely cleaner on your uh, your rims and definitely last longer but also going to cause more wear and tear on those rotors uh, I could get a set of rear pads for 45 bucks or I could get a set of rotors for $150 I mean you choose what do you want well isn't ceramic better I go with an OEM style premium pad that's what I go with that's what I use unless it's a race car I don't do all that junk, there's no use in doing it. An OEM, premium pad, that's it. She says, okay. Well, I've watched your videos and I've seen you do stuff for people and I just really feel comfortable with you overall more than going to the dealer. How about I just, I'll pay you 250 bucks to do my rear brakes and rotors. She says, okay, all right, that sounds like a deal. Um, I'll go ahead and get the, the, the pads and rotors and everything. And I'll tie all that in there and uh, we'll call it you know our special um, and I'll make sure you're taken care of very very well those are the customers that I want those are the customers that are willing to go out of their way to make sure you're taken care of and compensated for the quality work that you put out those are what we are after those are the customers that are appreciative they seek value in you and they don't want to use you that's what I want I don't want the Joe Schmo that walks in the door and says, oh, come on, can't you just do it for 20 bucks an hour? Yeah, I can, but I'm not going to. Can't you just do it for 30 bucks an hour? Yeah, I can, but I'm not going to. When I was 20 years old and I was just taking stuff apart and putting it back together, you're right. I could be doing dealer work, making warranty money or customer pay money. I don't need the piddly side job where somebody wants to nickel and dime me. Guys, my message may come across as a little brash, but your time is of value. Your time is your time. You can't get it back once it's gone. It's freaking gone. It doesn't come back. That's time that you've put into somebody else. You've put your hard on work, and you, you've used your professionalism and your skill to, for somebody else to gain made minimal in return get paid get paid get paid I cannot say that enough get paid do not be afraid to hurt somebody's feelings well I'm sorry but I want $50 an hour that's what I'm gonna get um, I'm not gonna settle for any less I'll show you the quality of my work give me a chance and we'll move from there but I'm telling you my work is worth this much. I know it is worth this much. Don't be afraid to give somebody a number. When you don't give somebody a number and you leave the ball in their court, you're leaving them to screw you over. Give them a number. If you know to you 150 bucks is a good price for a set of rotors and pads and an installation, then charge 150 bucks. If you know $225 is a good price for you, and charge $225. Don't sell yourself short because you cannot get that time back. You cannot get the time of standing on that concrete floor destroying your feet, your ankles, your knees, your back every single day back, breathing in those chemicals every single day back, cutting your fingers open, busting your knuckles, hurting yourself on a daily basis doing this job. You cannot get that time, the frustration, the aggravation, and the money back. It needs to be paid for. That's with any job. But I see so many mechanics selling themselves short because they want to be the nice guy. Well, I have money to make on a professional level. The nice guy money doesn't pay the bills. Somebody coming by that knows uh, that I'm top notch and is going to pay for top notch, that's what pays the bills. Don't sell yourself short, guys. Know your value, know your worth, and charge at that rate. Be blessed, guys.